Congratulations on choosing Ravenclaw in Hogwarts Legacy. With its focus on wit, learning, and wisdom, Ravenclaw is the perfect house for those who love to think outside the box and tackle challenges with creativity and intelligence. As the Sorting Hat once said, if you're ready mind, where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. And that's exactly what Ravenclaw represents. In this video, we'll explore Ravenclaw's fascinating history, take a look at the common rooms where you'll be staying, and discuss the benefits of choosing this house in Hogwarts Legacy. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Ravenclaw and discover what makes this house so unique. Ravenclaw House, one of the four houses of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, was founded by the medieval witch Rowena Ravenclaw in the 10th century. The emblematic symbol of Ravenclaw is the eagle, and its colors are blue and bronze. These colors represent the sky and the eagle feathers, respectively, and correspond roughly to the element of air. The house ghost is the Great Lady, daughter of Rowena Ravenclaw, Helena, who is directly related to the story of the famed lost diadem of Ravenclaw. Legend has it that Rowena Ravenclaw created a diadem that would enhance the wearer's wisdom and intelligence. The diadem was made of silver and had a blue oval-shaped sapphire. Upon its surface, a famous Ravenclaw's quote was etched. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. Rowena's daughter, Helena Ravenclaw, greatly envied the attention her mother received and stole the diadem in hope of using its power to make herself wiser. She then fled Hogwarts, and her mother fell fatally ill shortly after, and in spite of Helena's betrayal, wanted to see her daughter one last time. Rowena sent the Bloody Baron, a man who used to love Helena, to find her. When caught up with her in the forest of Albania, she hid the diadem in a hollow tree. Upon her refusal to return with him, the Baron got enraged and stabbed her. Horrified by what he had done, the Baron then stabbed himself as well. The diadem was lost for centuries, until it was discovered by Tom Riddle, who turned it into one of his horcruxes. Both Helena and the Baron's ghost continue to haunt the grounds of Hogwarts to this day, known as the Grey Lady and the Bloody Baron. Ravenclaw students tend to be curious about the world around them, and are known to be logical and rational. In addition, Ravenclaw students tend to have great abilities regarding memory. Some famous witches and wizards who belong to Ravenclaw House include Luna Lovegood, Cho Chang, and Phileas Flitwick. Luna Lovegood is known for her creativity and open-mindedness, while Cho Chang is an accomplished Quidditch player and a talented student. Phileas Flitwick, the charms professor at Hogwarts, is known for his expertise in magic and his kind-hearted nature. And did you know that Minerva McGonagall was a hat stall? Having approximately equal Ravenclaw and Gryffindor traits, and even Hermione Granger was also inches away from becoming a Ravenclaw. Our common room is found at the top of Ravenclaw Tower, behind a door with an enchanted knocker. The arched windows set into the walls of our circular common room look down at the school grounds, the lake, the forbidden forest, the Quidditch pitch, and the Herbology gardens. No other house in the school has such stunning views. Once you enter the common room after solving a riddle, you will notice that it is one of the airiest rooms at Hogwarts. There is a statue of Rowena Ravenclaw made of white marble at the top of the staircase, which is facing a circular common area divided into two rooms, with tables, sofas, and different music instruments in the first, and a giant fireplace at the center of the room in the second, with chairs, tables, and piles of books scattered around. Arched windows are hung with blue and bronze silks, and a midnight blue carpet is covered in stars, a theme that is reflected throughout the entire common room, including the ceilings with intricate stellar maps. Upstairs, there's another circular room with a domed ceiling. Here you will find plenty of desks for you to immerse yourself in studies or spend night stargazing through one of the telescopes. My favorite spot would probably be right by the fireplace, while enjoying some tea during a snowstorm. The dorms are split into two areas for boys and girls, where unlike in other houses, you'll find only two bunked for poster beds covered in sky blue silk eiderdowns with navy blue curtains. And don't worry, the staircase towards girls' bedrooms is guarded by two knights who will block the way to any boy trying to sneak by. 
One of the best aspects of Hogwarts Legacy is that it provides a unique experience to each of the four houses. Aside from the fact that Ravenclaw's common room has its own patio on top of the tower, being a Ravenclaw gives an opportunity to meet some students and get to know them a bit earlier than any other students will, like Everett and Amit Thakar, who will share his obsession with astronomy. But also, as a Ravenclaw, you will experience a 100% unique quest involving Richard Jackdaw. The quest is split in two parts. In the first part, after discovering the book, Ollivander will ask you to speak with him in his wand shop. He will ask you to find a special wand that was once stolen by a boy named Richard Jackdaw, who believes might also know something about the missing pages Professor Fig told Ollivander about. Since Jackdaw's ghost can be often seen in the Owlery, Ollivander will ask you to try to look there for some clues. After completing a little puzzle inside the Owlery, Ghost of Jackdaw will appear, congratulating you with the completion of his puzzle. He will then tell you about the wand that he stole, thinking that it had some special abilities, and about the pages he stole from Peeves that he eventually followed, and will tell you to meet him at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. After following up to that, the quest will eventually bring you to the second part of the quest, inside the Forbidden Forest, where in a tomb you will eventually find Jackdaw's decapitated body with the wand and the missing pages you are looking for. This second part of the quest is essentially the same for each house, but other houses have a unique way of how and from whom you learn about Jackdaw. In one version, you even get to visit an iconic location otherwise inaccessible to other houses. I cover all that in this video, and I'll make sure to put the link at the very end. And lastly, what's great about being a Ravenclaw is being a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw House is home to some of the brightest minds in the wizarding world. Its focus on intelligence, creativity, and wisdom make it a popular choice for students who value knowledge above all else. Its common room is incredibly beautiful, and the story of the lost diadem of Ravenclaw and the ghost of Helena and Baron add a layer of intrigue to the history of this house. Ravenclaw students will no doubt continue to astound and inspire us with their wit beyond measure for years to come. If you're still unsure about which house to choose for your first or second playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy, consider watching videos about the rest of the houses that are made in a similar fashion. You can find them on my channel and they will provide you with a glimpse into the magical world of each house and their unique characteristics, whether you're a courageous Gryffindor, a loyal Hufflepuff, a cunning Slytherin, or a wise Ravenclaw. I hope this series has helped you make the right choice for your journey at Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.